dramatic rock formations, visible layers and different colors in the stones, that's Punta Vicente Roca from above. But the real beauty hides below the surface. One, two, three. Three endemic species right there. First, the black striped salemas, a huge bait ball, and on top of it, because that's not enough, the Galapagos sea lions wading in the waves. So if you look up, you might see them chasing around. And eventually they will dive down and get into the swarm of the black salemas, maybe to the left, maybe to the right, or maybe in front of the camera. And they start dancing with the fish and you think like, can't be any better and you already have a big smile on your face. But then the third species appears. These are the Galapagos penguins, my secret favorites. And I looked through the camera and thought, no way. That wasn't a penguin, was it? So I looked up, checked again, and yeah, really, that was a penguin. I mean, I promised my niece back home that I will be hoping to film penguins, but that I could really manage it in the end was really a surprise. And I got stuck with the penguins over and over again, because I just can't figure out how they can move so quickly underwater. I mean, on land, they are unable to perform any kind of exercise and they have only their tiny wings but how they can race through the water with them is just unbelievable i mean you have to enjoy watching that and i thought they're also chasing the salemas but they are not if you watch closely you can see that they are after the small anchovies the little swarm that sometimes reflects the sun and moves as a separate little bait ball to imagine that the sea lions, the penguins, and the black salemas are playing the same game over and over again on a daily basis, and that you can find them only here and nowhere else on the planet, it's just incredible. When I look back from a, from a distance and I realize that the Mola Molas were also something really interesting and something very special, we're just getting close enough to be able to use the light and to identify the eyes and to recognize the fish for what it is. I mean, you might think, is this one swimming upside down and then it moves the upper and lower fin and all of a sudden it picks up quite a bit of speed and you think like, wow, that's incredible how they can move.
last dive at Punta Vicente Roca was also the last dive of the whole trip. And for the dive, you couldn't have scripted it any better. The dive was confronting us with a very nice farewell present, really strong current, and it kept whispering into my ear, hey buddy, you're done here, you better get on your way home now. Conclusion, let me think, I mean the whole trip was way beyond our expectations and I know that you can't really see everything in two weeks, there is a whole lot more to see above the water and also diving and I know it's not an easy trip and it's very expensive uh, to come here but if you think about coming here do it. You will definitely not regret it. It's absolutely worth it. And now we have one day left and we will go to Isabella Island tomorrow. They have flamingos there. They also have penguins. And if I can manage to get the penguins on land, I will add the footage after this and that would actually make a real good ending. <laughs>